Good morning, Chelsea fans. It's Thursday, the 21st of May, and I'm back, and this is lunchtime news. All the latest Chelsea news and transfer updates and contract updates, and most importantly of all, the situation with players' hairstyles. Let's get cracking. So, first up, big news yesterday. Chelsea announced two contract extensions which are key and could give us all an idea of where the club is going in the transfer market this summer. First up, Willy Caballero was announced that he'd signed a year's extension at the club, which is great news because Caballero is someone that's quite happy to go in there to be the backup, works just as hard as everybody else. And he spoke after signing the deal and he said this, I'm very happy to make this announcement. It's a privilege to be part of the Chelsea squad and Chelsea family at one of the most historic clubs in the Premier League. Also, yesterday announced big, big news and confirmed as what we heard a few weeks back. Chelsea confirmed they triggered the extension of Olivier Giroud's contract for an additional year. He will remain at the club next season and will provide competition for Tammy Abraham. Frank Lampard spoke of Giroud's deal which is great news for all of us and he said this since I've been back at Chelsea Olivier has been brilliant as a professional and as a man in general he has great qualities to help the squad both on and off the pitch not only with his talent but the example he sets every day and the experience that he brings to our young squad I'm very pleased that he will continue next season and it is great because Giroud gives you the alternative option to Tammy. Tammy's more mobile. He's more of a target man and a link man. Giroud can bring others into play. Is strong. He gives us the alternative option. Great news that both of those are signed. I just want to. I'm just wondering about William. Now we know that Caballero signed a new deal. Now we know Giroud signed a new deal. I'm sure being back at training, Frank Lampard is in his ear. We all know Frank Lampard wants to keep William at the club. And I can imagine Frank Lampard is on to him about signing a two-year deal. Commit to two years, maybe with a, a, a pay rise or something like that. But I just wonder if we're going to hear news in the coming days that William has had a complete U-turn and will sign a two-year deal, having reportedly wanted three. I think that the players going back to training has been immense, huge for the contracts regarding Caballero and Giroud. I think it could be for William as well. So now to the Premier League and the situation with the players coming back into training this week. Some players are quite happy to do so. There have been a few that have spoken out and they're the ones making all the headlines at the moment. Danny Rose, for example, up at Newcastle, the Tottenham player has come out and said he's not comfortable with it. He's, he's being made to feel like a laboratory rat for testing. Troy Deeney's come out and said he's not comfortable with doing so. But big news yesterday was this that Nogolo Conte was excused from training yesterday at Cobham, having been there on Tuesday for training. And that was because, because of fears over the Premier League restart. His family's got a history of health issues. He has taken the choice to, to, to request to be absent. And that was granted by Chelsea, who had given him their full support. It's unclear when he will return. What's also important to note with everything that happened with Callum hudson Adoy the other day is he also missed training yesterday because he felt unwell. He's on medication, not clear when he'll come back, but he was unwell and missed the training session. That was what's being reported. It wasn't because of the situation with what happened the other day, but hudson Adoy also missed training. Now, what's also important to note is that the first phase of testing at training grounds has revealed that six Premier League players have tested positive for coronavirus and will now go into lockdown. They're going to have to quarantine themselves for at least a week. Everybody else that was around them probably have to be quarantined as well. And for me, I just think it's a joke. I just think just stop doing it. Cancel the season. Take away that risk at the moment. And it's just ridiculous. It's a ridiculous scenario. And if more and more Premier League players come out and test positive, all hell will break loose. So just cancel the season. Now, Addison Bender, who's a respected TV journalist and also is featured on various TV networks around the world, put a tweet out today and I thought it was absolutely brilliant. She's tweeted this, positive test within clubs, and that's after a long period of lockdown, players refusing to train, which I understand, fitness levels way off, I just can't see how this Premier League season can continue. We all adore football, no one wants a fake season like this, do they? What a great point. Let me know if you agree in the comments section below.
One person who has spoken positively about coming back to training and feeling safe is Ruben Loftus-Cheek. He's quoted in The Standard and he said this, I'm really excited to be back and just to see a few of the boys, at a safe distance obviously, but just to have that social contact with some of the boys that you're used to seeing every day, it's good to see them and talk to them at a safe distance and then start the work for what could be restarting the season. This is the first stage of it and it needs to be safe, but I feel like the routine they've shown us is safe, so for us it's good to go at the moment. He was also asked about the situation with returning to training and and revealed that all the players were consulted ahead of doing so. He said this, We've been involved in the conversations and our opinions have been noted. What they've proposed to us in this first phase, everyone feels it's safe to do. And I think it's very important to take it step by step with these things because of what's going on in the world. You have to do things properly. But we feel like this phase one has been done properly, so everyone's looked forward to get going. So Loftus Cheek's quite happy and obviously you've got some players that are, some players that aren't. And Conte, I can't believe that some people were slating Conte yesterday for stepping away from training. There's nothing wrong with that in my opinion. Now to the training and we've all seen social media and I have to say if you think of all the money these players have got and they earn on a weekly basis to not be able to look after your hair and get your hair cut or try and cut it yourself and to to come back to training with with some of the hairdos we've seen is just it's, it's really funny. My wife cuts my hair for me. She's actually done a great job, I have to say. Everyone's sort of making do with what, they, what they've got and who they've got available to do it for them. But I've got to show you some of these. First up, Nagolo Conte. And the, the big thing yesterday was Conte's got hair. That doesn't look too bad when you compare it to Sadio Mane. I mean, look at that. Talk about make do or just try to do something with that. But even worse still, <laughs> in my opinion, between you and I, I think Bobby Firmino or Roberto Firmino at Liverpool was taking a step back 30 years, 40 years into the 80s. Have a look at this. That's outstanding. That is absolutely brilliant. But I want to focus on two Chelsea players, other than Conte, which caught my eye. First of all, is this Kepa? Look at them up on that. Outstanding. And Jorginho, honestly. You'd think they're trying to make do or they're trying to do something themselves, shave it all off or they're trying to do something, but no. That's what's been causing a stir on social media. Finally, an update today in this news bulletin at lunchtime. Situation with Jaden Sancho. And he's been urged to stay at Dortmund and the, and the reports coming out of Germany are that he could possibly stay for at least another season. Emre Chan, the ex-Liverpool, Juve and now Dortmund midfielder has urged Sancho to ignore the advances of Man United Obviously, Chelsea is still sniffing and stay at Dortmund beyond this season. And he said this, I see no reason to put United over Dortmund, neither sporty nor attractive. I tell him, stay here and let's play together forever. Jaden has a class that not many players have, and I noticed that pretty quickly. He's extremely important to us. I wonder, will Jaden Sancho stay at Dortmund for another year? Will Coutinho stay at Bayern Munich on loan for another year? And as we all know, Dries Mertens, the three big names linked with Chelsea that have been heavily linked with Chelsea this summer, he's also staying at Napoli. So guys, that's it from me. Lunchtime news today. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash that like button for me. Then subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications to make sure you don't miss my videos when they come out. Make sure you check out the other videos listed here for more content from my channel. The first of a three-part series was, was put out last night. Tonight will be part two. Friday will be part three. Thanks for watching. See you all then.